Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you my everyday natural makeup look. I only use like seven to eight products in this whole routine, depending on how extra I'm feeling that day. I try to put the least amount of stuff on my face every day for the sake of the health of my skin. So this is a very quick routine. I can get it done usually in like 10 minutes if I'm going fast and like 15 minutes if I'm taking my time. This is what the final look looks like. So I'm gonna go back in time and I'm gonna show you how to do it. So we all see these tutorials for glowy, natural look makeup. But of course the key to being able to do that is to have clear skin because if you don't have clear skin, which I used to not have clear skin, you have to cake so much on your face every day to cover it up. And it's kind of a vicious cycle because those cakey heavy products are worse for your skin, which makes it break out more. And then you have to cover it up more and it just keeps going like that. So the secret is really to invest more and to pay more attention to your skincare routine rather than your makeup. Try to make your makeup the least amount of products possible and invest more of your money in skincare than anything else because if you're already taking really great care of your skin, it's gonna look great without anything on it. It's definitely worth it to invest in the more expensive products because I did not start seeing any actual results until I started looking at the more expensive products. Um, I feel like another key is to make sure that you don't use products with harsh chemicals because I found often products with salicylic acid and benzoyl peroxide would just completely kill my skin, like it would kill the breakout, but it would kill my skin too, and then my skin would be really sensitive, flaky, and dry. Like if I was using a face wash that had those chemicals in it, I would stop using it because it was too harsh on my skin and I could tell and it would hurt. I would stop using it, I would break out again, and it just nothing ever actually cleared my skin and made it healthy. Try your best to find products with really natural ingredients. So the beginning of this makeup look starts with skincare because that is the most important part. So my routine starts with a Veriglow. They sent me their clear skin kit and I have really, really loved it so far. I've been using it every single day for a month and my skin has dramatically improved. So step one is actually using this. Um, this is like kind of like a rose water spray and they say it's better to use this rather than to wash with water because water can mess up the pH levels in your skin. And then you put some of this on a cotton pad. Uh, that's the cleanser. So you do that instead of washing your face with water. Seriously, guys. I now wake up in the morning and like doing my skincare routine is the thing that I'm like most excited to do because <laughs> it feels so good and having healthy skin, it just feels amazing. So if you can find natural products with great ingredients, they will feel great on your face and your skin will thank you for it. So next I'm going to be using the toner by Glow. It just helps to even out your skin tone and it slowly uh, will take care of like red marks and acne scars that are left over. Um, mine are almost totally gone because I've been using this stuff for a month and it really does work. Okay, the next step is to moisturize and for moisturizing, I use a few different things. One of them is Glossier Priming Moisturizer Rich. This stuff has been like a miracle for my skin during the winter. My skin was so dry. It was literally like flaking off of my face. With this stuff, I have not had any trouble with dry skin, so. And it feels so good. And if you're watching this and you're still in quarantine like everyone is right now, uh, one tip is if you are not wearing makeup every day like you used to, this would be a great opportunity to 
kind of detox your skin and not use makeup for a while. So always take time to do your skincare routine every day. That's really important for self-care. And then maybe skip the makeup and give your skin a break from it. Okay, next, um, I have to moisturize uh, the skin around my eyes because it's very delicate, it gets dry very easily, and it's definitely worth taking care of. Uh, when I saw the price of like an under eye cream, I was like, no way pal. But then my under eyes started flaking off and dying and being very painful. So I decided to get an actual under eye cream. I used the Glossier Bubble Wrap. Uh, this stuff is also super great and you only have to use a very little bit of it. Um, this particular cream from Glossier has lasted me months. Last up is the Flawless the Flawless Nourishment Cream by Averglow. So this stuff, you only take a very tiny amount of it. So you take that between your fingers and then you just sort of tap it on. Then you spray some more of the rose water spray to get it to really penetrate into your skin super well. So as you can see, my skin is already looking so much better than it did when I started the video. I was feeling so crusty when I started the video um, and my skin feels so much better now. Okay, now that the skincare part is done, we can move on to the actual makeup. Okay, so the first thing that I use is uh, the Glossier Skin Tint. You can definitely skip this step if you feel like you don't really need any foundation. So I probably could go without this, but I'm gonna use it today. It just evens out the skin tone a little bit more. I just use my hands to put it on because I don't see the need to pay for something else to put it on with. Okay, next I use the Glossier Concealer um, just to cover up a few spots where I still have a little bit of redness. Uh, and I'm gonna move on to eyeshadow. Here I just have like a little palette that I got from Maybelline. So I usually take the darkest color here and I put it on the outer corners and then I blend it up a little bit up here, same over here. Uh, then I take this color right here and I put it on the inner corners. Then I take this um, color, it's a very bright sort of shimmery color, so I put that on the inner corners. This is one of my favorite parts because it brightens up your eyes so much and makes you look like you're actually awake. Next I do my eyebrows. I use uh, the Boy Brow by Glossier. So basically, just take that and lightly put it on. I was kind of confused about this stuff at first, but yeah, it's just a, it's a tinted eyebrow gel, so it's, you know, colored brown. So it basically just coats your eyebrow hairs, makes them look darker and thicker, and because it's also a gel, it like seals them in place too. So <laughs> it doesn't look much different on camera, but this one is just a little bit darker and more defined and also the hairs are like in place. And this one is just a little bit lighter, so. Okay, next I take this eyebrow pencil, which is so used, I've been using it for so long, I don't know what it is. Um, I think it is L'Oreal something smoky eye something. I basically just line my waterline with this. What I do is, such a bad angle okay so I go and I line the top waterline like this and this stuff just goes on really well I really like it and then I blink like this and I kind of close my eyes and then 
it just automatically transfers to the bottom because that's how your water line works. It's watery. <laughs> okay, um, next I use mascara. Lash Slick by Glossier. This is literally the best mascara ever, I feel like. At least if you're going for a natural look. It does not give like dramatic coverage or whatever. It just, it gives very nice uh, light coverage to your lashes. Um, and the best part is that it comes off really easily because I think we all know uh, waterproof mascara is a nightmare. And I hate that feeling of literally having to like scrape it off of my lashes. That is the worst. <laughs> so there we go. Okay, we are nearly to the end. Uh, next I use bronzer. Uh, I use the Milani Baked Bronzer. I just got it at the store, I don't know. You can use whatever bronzer you want. So I put this all over my nose and across my cheeks to give me like a summertime glow. So that just gives me like healthy summertime bronze glow. And I put some of it up here and up here as well. And then right here. I feel like it's not showing up on camera, but definitely shows up in real life. If you want a little bit more rosiness to your cheeks, you can use blush. I use the Milani blush that is the same as the bronzer. And you just go really light with that because the bronzer already did most of the work, so. And this is pretty much the last step. Uh, I use the Glossier uh, Halo Scope Highlighter. This stuff is so great. So I just put it right there. So like the apples of my cheeks are like glowing or whatever. And then I like rub it in like this to make sure it looks natural. So, I don't know, yeah, you can see it there, like, when it catches the light, it's, like, stunning. <laughs> it looks so good. Part of the skincare routine is definitely using, um, chapstick. Use chapstick all day long, multiple times a day. It's not good to have chapped lips. So, and now, if you're feeling a little bit extra, you can put some lipstick on or something to make it just look a little bit more. Uh, so I'm gonna show you guys. I have my two favorite uh, Glossier uh, Generation G uh, matte lipsticks. I use Jam and Leo together to get kind of a deep red color. It's not super pigmented. Um, it just gives like a nice, kind of a natural red tint to your lips. And that was Jam. Now I'm gonna add Leo to it. Absolutely love Generation G uh, lipstick by Glossier. But again, it does pretty much wipe off if you do literally anything. <laughs> So this is the finished makeup look. Now this is my everyday routine. I feel like it's just a nice look for uh, everyday natural makeup to accentuate your natural unique beauty. Don't forget that if you're going to invest in anything, invest in skincare above anything else. Just take really great care of your skin first and then you can add a little bit of makeup on top to accentuate all of the natural good features of your face. And as we are all in quarantine right now, be sure to take time for self-care, take care of your skin, uh, do your makeup if it makes you feel better and more human during the day. Don't stay in pajamas all day. Just do whatever you can to help yourself get through this. Uh, Self-care is super important. Okay, so I hope you all are having a wonderful day. If you enjoyed the video, I'd really appreciate if you'd subscribe. I've been doing a lot of travel videos, some kind of lifestyle videos, some vlogs. 
and hopefully you'll be seeing a lot more of me soon as I'm hoping to do a lot more videos during quarantine. So hopefully that actually happens. Hope you all have a lovely day and I will see you next time. Bye. spend just to pay off my rent but you see